The electronic communication systems are on the verge of becoming a central nervous system for the Earth community. The essential step for this to take place is a planet-wide dialogue on what constitutes true human happiness. You are participating in the central creative energy of our solar system when you ask yourself the crucial question, what activities bring me a sense of fulfillment? I'm Brian Thomas Swim with the Human Energy Project. Our series of short videos explores the way humanity is building a global organism called the Noosphere. As we deepen our understanding of the Noosphere, we discover a collective purpose, one which will help us address our planetary challenges together. In today's video, we examine the way in which the invention of communication systems during the modern period accelerated the emergence of the global organism. Communication among our earliest human ancestors consisted of spoken language and nonverbal gestures of face and body. This was enough to keep the band of a couple dozen humans sufficiently organized to survive in every biome of the planet. As connections between humans increase, so did the range of communication. One of the most prevalent forms was that of smoke signals. By producing smoke with different shapes and colors, Aboriginal Australians could transmit information, such as warnings that an attack was coming. As humans came together and formed even larger civilizations, riders on horseback brought written documents that were used to correlate distant activities with the central bureaucratic order of the civilization. The crucial step in the development of global communication technology was initiated by the July 1962 launch of the Telstar satellite. With Telstar, our messages could travel beyond the curvature of the horizon. For the first time in human history, people in North America and Europe entered into direct relationship via television and telephone. With the addition of the internet and geostationary satellites, we entered our current moment where virtually every place on Earth is in constant and instantaneous contact with every other place on Earth. Which means that the Earth community has constructed a global organism with a nervous system similar to that of a sea jelly. The parts of a sea jelly's body are in electrical contact with other parts, but no one part is in control. That is to say, the sea jelly, even though it has a nervous system, does not have a brain. What about the Earth community? Is our global communication system going to stay at the level of a sea jelly's nervous system? No, something more powerful is at hand. The human collective is developing a central nervous system analogous to an animal's brain. To bring forth this global brain, Humanity will need to discover its common aim, its telos, and to act in conscious alignment with this telos. Our global challenge then is to identify the nature of human happiness and human fulfillment. What makes us truly happy? What brings a deep sense of fulfillment? The quest to answer these questions can and will unite our species. Our success will come from creative dialogue, a form of deep communication that faces disagreements without evasion, that opens a dynamic in which all points of view are explored. Not only does dialogue facilitate the bridging of fragmented disciplines, it also crosses the chasm separating so many human groups, including the oppressed and marginalized, Bringing fragments together in dialogic relationship is the work of love and gives rise to the development of humanity as a whole. We have every reason to hope for success in this endeavor. Each individual and each group will have democratized access to all knowledge in the emerging noosphere. 
and thus will be drawing from the intelligence of the entire human collective. Just as the relationships between hydrogen atoms led to the emergence of stars and galaxies, and just as the relationships between individual cells led to the emergence of blue whales and hummingbirds, so too, in deep dialogue, the relationships among human groups will lead to our common aim, our telos, our shining dream. As humanity embraces a common aim, the Earth community enters fully into the era of conscious evolution. Thank you.